The last industrial revolution brought us mass production and the Ford Model T. Any colour you wanted, as long as it was black. But there's a new industrial revolution coming down the track, and this time it's digital. Recorded on a time lapse, they are printing out a scale Model T. So what we have here is a prototype Model T Ford that is being printed using a 3D printing technique that is actually very similar to your uh, conventional 2D inkjet printers that everybody has at home these days. As one that we've made earlier, once you've taken all the support structures off, this is what would be revealed. 3D printing works by scanning an object, in this case me, to create a blueprint, or you could just create this design on the computer. The software then slices me up like a loaf of bread into tens of thousands of tiny slices so that it can tell the printer exactly what to print out layer by very thin layer as it builds me back up from the ground to the top of my head. But they can do this now. What's exciting is what they're working on for the future, the design freedoms and the prospect of printing fully functioning machines. Emerging from a vat of liquid plastic, the ethereal form of what could be part of the Terminator. It's actually the base of a futuristic walking stick, modelled in the design of human bones, each layer traced out and fused solid by a laser. This is quite an aesthetic part where we try to get a, uh, a walking aid uh, for, uh, for a disabled person, but we could use exactly the same approach for making lightweight aerospace components. Uh, and again, this is showing making a fairly conventional polymer uh, process, but we can also make this in metal. It means you can make each part to order rather than having to mass produce, which turns conventional manufacturing wisdom on its head. You might expect these dolls to be made on a vast production line in the Far East, but 3D printing means they can make them here in central London. Instead of um, having to make a mould and then having to make millions of the same thing in order to pay off the price of the mould and the manufacturer, you can make individual objects one by one. It means that a startup in London can make toys in London now. Back in the lab, what they're working towards now are multi-material parts. Not just printing the case for your mobile phone, they want to print the actual phone. Lighter aircraft, body armour, perhaps one day body parts. The possibilities of 3D printing are only as limited as our imagination. Katie Stallard, Sky News.